Well, our story began in Orford. When you take opera singers and you put them in a forest retreat in the middle of Quebec, lots can happen. But we managed to stage an opera. This is how it all began. I'm here with Mai Kai Nash, celebrity piano player from Hawaii. I'm from Hawaii, Honolulu. Well, actually not Honolulu, a little small town called Kailua. I grew up in Quebec City and uh, made all my studies there. Except for this one year at the end of my master degree, I went to Waterloo, Kitchener Waterloo in the Wilfrid Laurier University. Oui bonjour, comment allez-vous? Bienvenue chez l'Institut de Montréal, the Orford. <laughs> Did my undergrad in Moncton, New Brunswick, not too far from where I grew up, about an hour away, and then continued on to University of Montréal, and then McGill, and then the Opera Ensemble at Opera de Montréal. No, je vais être hair person. I am the hair curler. Well, I was born in Calgary, and I started singing when I was about nine years old. It's show number one, Judith. How are you feeling? Trick or treat! Orford was something else. I didn't know that you could put together uh, one act of an opera in three days and a second act of an opera in the following three days and perform it on the seventh day. It's like in the Bible or something. I'm from Prince Edward Island, uh, that's where I was born and raised. Did my bachelor's degree at Western in London, Ontario, and my master's at McGill in Montreal. It's officially Halloween, and we are doing our first show at Théâtre de Provo in Montréal. I grew up in Ottawa, got my start as a young boy soprano, and uh, ended up going on to University of Toronto, and then on to Juilliard to finish uh, my studies. Here I am in Montreal, it's October 2010, and um, the first of many hotel bathrooms. Trust me, I'm, I'm not going to take you into every hotel bathroom. Got my map and my flippy floppies. Hi, Jean. We have a three-hour rehearsal tonight with a cast, a first music brush-up rehearsal since we all took about a month off from Orford. So, stay tuned. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the headquarters of the Jeunesse Musicale du Canada, and the cast is reunited! Behind the scenes! Behind the scenes! Oh, oh and then she gets to escape. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you guys ready for a kick ass tour? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You bet. Yeah. Ready for embarrassing moments and long car rides? Especially with Graham. <laughs> and the ever quiet age, please. Operas in general are put up on a ridiculously foreshortened rehearsal schedule. At Orford we get two weeks and we get two casts, so it's uh, intensive to say the least. I think we worked very well together and we were very uh, time conscious and we knew we didn't have that much time to work so it was just down to the grind and we did the work. You're going to meet um, many more sides of this man. Oh, scary. <laughs> right away. We just finished There's our second of fear. Of fear, yes. Are you scared? Be very scared. We uh, just finished our uh, second day of rehearsals, five hours. How do you mm -hmm. think it went? I think it went pretty well. Yeah. I think they liked it, the we people that were there today. We had a bit of an audience, so that was kind of neat. They got a little presentation on the opera and sort of a behind the scenes look at our rehearsal process. A lot of great hair. That's right. I do like to get up in people's grill. I've been known to do that from time to time as the tenor. The tenor always, always, always. 
wait for the tenor. Uh, that was the thing with tenors. But of course, there's also the thing with having another baritone on the same stage with me. It's always, you know, that little, you just kind of want to, you know, slap him upside the head every once in a while, especially he's such a young little buck there and he thinks he's all that. 